Hey everyone, this is Kevin, and today I'm going to make a re-explanatory um, tutorial for just for the last layer of the Mega Mix. So, I made a complete tutorial, but I was, there was, um, a request by Snowbum48 has been made to re-explain the last layer. So, that's what I'm going to do. And he requested this, like, a month ago, plus, and I hadn't had time until now. And partially, I was kind of too lazy to do it. So, here goes. And I'm going to cut this into two parts since um, there's a lot of explaining to do. I can't get it under 10 minutes. So, yeah. Okay, let's start. So, when you're on your last layer, um, let's say you're solving this like a 3x3, three three, you'd figure you get a cross on top. Oh, well, yeah, you're correct. But instead of a cross, it's a star so because there's five edges so yeah so users use the same algorithm for a 3x3 three three to get across the top as on the mega mink so uh, you'll get several cases you'll get um just one edge on top you'll get three next to each other or you'll get two and one right across from it and that's what we have to work with so first start the algorithm on an Start your algorithm on an empty slot, just like this one. It's empty, so that's where you're gonna start your F turn. So I'm not gonna go over the algorithm or anything because you should know them already. So F R U R I U I F I. And you might use a different algorithm than I do, but just use it and it will work. You need to do it like two or three times, depending on what case you have, or maybe just once. Once. Um, so now we have this case where we have three edges next to each other are correct. So when this happens, start the algorithm on an empty spot, which is this one, with another empty spot to its to the right of it. So empty spot and to the right of it, an empty spot. See, right. We if we start on this one to our right, there's no empty spot. It's filled. So we do it on this one. So F R U. R I U I F I. And there we go. Now we have this the other case I showed you. Two next to each other and one right across from it. So again, we start the algorithm on an empty slot, which is this one or this one. But the one to its right has to be empty. I mean, has to be filled. And the one um across from it has to be empty. So if we were looking at it this way. This is the one to its right, filled, but the one across from it, which is this one, it's filled, not empty. So we would, we would start it on this, sorry. So F R U R I U I F I. And there you go, you have your star. So that's the first step. The second step for the last layer is to um, permute these edges. Just like on a 3 by 3 the cross, you get it so that the sticker or color underneath matches with with the with the center um, under it. So these, like this, these match. And, yeah. So the first thing you want to do for this, for the second step, is turn your layer and try to find at least two that match. So right now, just one matches. Turn it. See one. Oh, two. Great. Okay. If you only have it so that one matches, and you turn your layer like five times, and only and you only find out that one matches, just do this algorithm wherever you want it, wherever you want, and check again. So this is where the algorithms um, start changing. So I'll write the um, this algorithm in the description box, which is that way or that way. I'm not sure. So yeah, the algorithm, okay first, yeah the algorithm is, actually I'll just show you first. First, um, after you get it so that at least two match, you'll get two cases. You get it so that um, corners across from each other like this match, see one and one, so these are across from each other, or next to each other, so like this would match and then this would match. So. Um, yeah, so you do, if you have this case where they're across from each other match, 
um, the algorithm, you're gonna have to do it like once or twice. I'm not sure. I forget. Whatever. So the algorithm is, is um, it's gonna, this is different from what you would use on a 3 by 3 It's R, U, R, I, U, R, um, on a 3 by 3 you would use U2. But for the Mega Minx, you use U3 instead. That's the only difference. So U3, 1, 2, 3, all right. Then after you do that, you should get it so that, um, since you started on this one, the one to its right matches now. You should get that. If not, um, this does happen constantly. Um, you'll get it so that it messes up the whole thing. And it's not that you did it incorrectly, it's just that it's just how it works. This is the longest that there is. Well, for the last layer. So, I was lucky, and now these two match. And now, like a 3x3, three three, when two match, you go to the side, and you start the algorithm on another one to get the last three. Or the last two for the cube, but for the Mega Minx, these last three. So, since you start on this one, um, let's go to our left. Which to our to the face to our left, which is this one, and we'll start the algorithm again. See, and I'll go over again. R U R I U R U three. Remember U three instead of U two. One two three. Then R I, and then do another U turn. So just do U one more time, and you'll see that they all match now. And I'm going to stop the video right here. I don't want to, like, pass time. Because there's a lot of explaining to do in the next step. So, thank you for watching. And subscribe to my videos. And stay tuned for part two.